For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Protests continue in Haiti against the dictatorship of Jovenel Moïse and the neo-colonialist imperialist forces that back him. Tens of thousands took to the streets in Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, on February 21st, two weeks after the official end of the presidential term of Jovenel Moïse. However, Moïse has refused to hand over power, alleging discrepancies in the interpretation of the Constitution and with regard to the official start of his time in office. Protesters are demanding that Moyes resign for illegally overstaying his mandate in office, redrafting the constitution, and calling for elections in September in a bid to justify the continuation of his mandate. Different opposition parties have already convened and formulated a proposal for a transitional government to recover the country from the deepening institutional crisis. Supreme Court Judge Joseph Messin Jean-Louis was appointed as the interim president. According to their proposal, the transitional government led by Jean-Louis, who has the support of the country's civil society organizations, should administer the country for the next two years and organize elections for the next government. However, despite overwhelming rejection of Moïse and his de facto rule, he continues to enjoy support from the imperialist core group, composed of the ambassadors of Brazil, Canada, France, Germany, Spain, the United States, as well as representatives from the European Union, the United Nations, and the Organization of American States. The members of the core group, as well as the group itself, have expressed support to Moise and publicly reiterated that the elections called by Moise in September should go ahead as planned. In this sense, protests this week in Haiti had an added focus to denounce the backing of Moise by the imperialist forces. Signs reading, long live the revolution and the U.S. should stay out of it, and the Haitian people can't breathe, down with the core group, were seen far and wide. Internationally, solidarity initiatives are growing to call on the government's part of the core group to rescind support from Moise. A letter was written to Justin Trudeau in this regard. Brutal suppression by state security forces of the protesters has also continued. On February 6th, a protester, Romario Santriis, was brutally beaten when he was unable to run away from police officers. According to reports, he was beaten so hard that he vomited his internal organs and died three days later on February 9th. Cases such as that of Romario Santriis have highlighted the brutality of the U.S. trained police officers. This repression continues till today, but Haitians continue to demand a return to democracy and a return to institutional order.